Hello, I am Mark Levitt. Uh, I wish to welcome you to episode 24 of 24 of my web series entitled uh, What I Am Thinking. Uh, now, before I begin, I want to let you know that I unfortunately I sometimes lapse into a Spanish accent because I did summer in Barcelona. I mean, what the hell is it with, with, with uh, Hilary Baldwin, you know? What, what a poser. I mean, first she, she goes on these morning cooking shows, right? And uh, for some reason, she, she has a Spanish accent. And then she does this uh, candid YouTube special. And apparently the accent just vanishes and she talks like that chick on My Cousin Vinny. She's like, hello, everybody. Uh, how you doing? And it's like, what happened to the Spanish accent that you used on, you know, for all those years? And you called yourself Hilaria. It's ridiculous, right? I mean, I, I went to school in Boston and... Uh, I don't suddenly revert into JFK when I'm ordering uh, breakfast at a diner, do I? I'm not like, uh, oh, my good man, I will have a uh, generous uh, helping of your scrambled eggs, uh, followed by a refreshing mojito, uh, some of your world-famous home fries. Uh, do not ask what I would like next. Ask what I could do for you. You don't, you don't see that, right? doesn't happen. Anyway, this week I was also uh, flipping the channels and I uh, ran across an, uh, an episode of The Love Boat. Now, this is one of the final episodes in the show's run. And they still refer to Gopher as an assistant bursar. And I'm like, what What the hell, man? Um, I mean, what? He was like a, an assistant bursar for nine seasons. What the hell was the pecking order on that ship that this guy couldn't have been, you know, promoted to, to bursar by the end of the show's run. Who did he have to sleep with? Who did he have to shoot in order to get that, that coveted post? Uh, you know, it's not like that was such a prestigious post anyway. I mean, doesn't a bursar just basically guard women's handbags on a on ship? Isn't, isn't that their basic responsibility? So what they're saying is here that uh, Gopher didn't even have the right stuff to guard women's handbags. I mean, that's pretty late. What else is going on? So uh, this week we all learned that uh, former presidential candidate Andrew Yang plans to run for New York City mayor. Well, my question is, uh, what? how much did uh, SNL cast member Bowen Yang have to pay this guy to run? Because the only way that Bowen Yang can get another sketch on SNL apparently is, I don't know, maybe if... TV's Dr. Ken gets in an auto accident. I mean, that's the only way this show will use the man. I mean, he's seriously underused. It's like what the, he's just waiting around for some prominent Asian person to come in, you know, out of the picture somewhere and, and be in some news story. I mean, but they have this guy, uh, uh, Pete Davidson, in every sketch. And as far as I could tell, after so many years this guy's on the show, he only has one character, and that character is Chad. And, th and that character's main quality trait is to underreact to any situation he's faced with. So like anybody comes in the picture, he goes, okay, I, I would like to kill you now, Chad. Okay. Okay. I'm like, this is his only personality trait. I mean, catatonic patients in a mental ward show more variety of expression than Pete Davidson does. And I don't know about anybody else, but I'm pretty done with those uh, those uh, celebrity Spotify playlists. I think it's enough. I, I don't really care what they're all listening to. I mean, do we do we really care what Mindy Kaling is listening to listening to these days? I mean, do we care what she plays while she's cleaning out her garage? Is it necessary to know this information? Uh, meanwhile, all these celebrity playlists are always the same. They always have a bunch of garbage like uh, Drake and uh, Post Malone. And then they suddenly try to sneak in some some classic by Billie Holiday or Ella Fitzgerald to show that they have soul. Uh, I, we're not buying it. It's, it, it. it's pathetic. Finally, on, uh, on January 3rd, um, it's going to, uh, Maya Bialik is coming out with this new show that she has. Uh, it's a new, it's a new sitcom that's entitled Call Me Cat. In, in the show, Maya Bialik plays the owner of a, a cat cafe. I think I think the show is destined for a huge male following. I mean, don't you don't you see a bunch of guys, you know, gathering around the TV watching Maya Bialik as she runs a cat cafe? 
I mean, well, what are some of the plot lines going to be? You know, her darning socks for her sick aunt somewhere? I mean, even Jim Parsons, the show's creator, said he, frankly, he'd rather watch a Lakers game than tune into this pathetic show. Anyway, that's about it for uh, this week's show. Uh, before I leave, though, today, I would like to wish you a happy new year on myself and uh, Murphys. Murphys could not be here. He was he was called away suddenly on business, so unfortunately, he's a no show. Uh, but perhaps uh, in a, in a future episode, he will he will again appear. But I want to wish you all a happy, safe new year, and uh, hope we could do many broadcasts again in the new year. Until then, I've been your host, Mark Levitt. Vaya con Dios.